It may have been a day off school for students at Hazleton Secondary, but 10 faculty members spent the day learning how to save lives. As part of the Advanced Coronary Treatment Foundation's high school CPR program, the teachers themselves were taught proper techniques to save someone in an emergency. We're uh, training the trainers for the ACT Foundation, uh, BCMs and QP873, uh, jointly uh, train trainers around the province at the high school level such that they can go and train all the grade 10 students to a level of CPR. In addition to learning CPR, the students of the day were taught how to properly use an automated external defibrillator, which Park says is an incredibly important asset when seconds count in an emergency. It's crucial to the, survivor of a, uh, to the survival of a cardiac arrest patient. Um, without trained lay people at the scene, uh, where seconds count in cardiac arrest management, uh, seconds count and paramedics are minutes away. So those initial uh, few minutes until the paramedics get on scene, it's crucial that our, that our lay people are taught CPR. In addition to the knowledge of how to perform CPR and use an AED, Hazelton Secondary is receiving 25 CPR mannequins, curriculum materials and an external defibrillator of their own. And that will go a long way to first aid knowledge and practical skills for students. It's really good to, to have the gift of the equipment uh, and then the additional training for more than just the, the one staff, uh, multiple staff is, is always good. So this will be a, a huge resource which we'll use in a teaching sequence if not uh, actual you know, heart attack on the scene. It can still be quite useful. For the, for the curriculum for the students. In an area with a high prevalence of long QT syndrome, a syndrome that places young, otherwise healthy individuals at risk for sudden cardiac arrest, Calhoun says these skills are essential and could help the entire community. The, the focus on uh, heart attacks, lifestyle, there's some, some things uh, in the region. If the, if the ambulance can't respond quick enough, then we have the equipment and the ability on site, and we have multiple people trained. In the past, I've only been the, I've been the, the only designated designated first aid person and if I'm not there uh, this will help have an additional people trained so it's really quite helpful. For CFTK TV News in Old Hazelton, I'm Karen Coppitz.